everyone and welcome back to a jolly good life and if you want to see how i made this cute little olaf craft then stay tuned because this is going to be today's craft so the supplies you're going to need for this craft are going to be one toilet paper tube some twigs i just found these outside any size you want two for the arms and then three for the little hairs some white paint a paintbrush so that you can paint the toilet paper too a black sharpie so that you can or a black magic marker whatever you might have around to draw his little mouth two googly eyes i would like to use smaller ones but the other ones i had were too small i think these are a little bit too big but whatever size eyes you want to give olaf an orange pom-pom for his nose a glue gun to stick his nose and his eyes on and for the little sticks for his hair and this is optional either an exacto knife if you have one or a sharp pair of scissors or even a kitchen knife you're just going to need it to or a nail if you have a nail around just to poke the hole through the toilet paper tube to be able to stick your little sticks for the arm even a thumbtack would probably work well for making a hole those are the supplies you're going to need. So you're going to want to get as much of the old toilet paper off as you can. And then we're simply just going to paint two coats of white on your toilet paper tube. I'm also going to paint the inside about an inch down of the toilet paper tube. We're going to go ahead and let this dry, give it a second coat, and then we'll be right back. All right, so after your toilet paper roll has dried, now we're going to glue on his two little eyes and his little nose. So all you need is a little bit of glue. Like I said at the very beginning, I would have liked a little bit smaller eyes for Olaf, but the ones I had were either this size or the a lot smaller. So I figured the bigger ones would be better for him. This was the other size I had. I didn't have anything in between this and that, and I think these would be too small. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is glue his little nose and now we're going to draw his mouth on so I'm gonna try to do it upside down let's see how that turns out yours will probably be nicer because you'll be looking at him from the correct angle And then, of course, you know Olaf's got his cute little teeth. There you go. <laughs> it's not perfect, but not too bad for doing it when I'm not facing him. Now, this is the part I said was optional. You can use an X-Acto knife like this one or a nail or a sharp pair of scissors, a knife. It's just going to be to poke a little hole on the side of them. I'm going to go ahead and put a little dab of glue on the side here. And then I'm just going to simply poke this little stick through here. That's one of his hands. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to make one higher than the other. I'm also going to put a little bit of glue in that little hole. Of 
All that's left now is to glue his hair on or his twig hair. So you're just going to get some hot glue. Put a small amount along the top there and put the sticks. So I'm going to give him his little hair. You can make them as big or as small as you want, of course. If you don't like it, you could snap one off. And there you have it. You have your little Olaf craft. Pretty inexpensive. They sell googly eyes at the Dollar Tree. They sell these cute little pom-poms at the Dollar Tree. The sticks you get from outside, of course, you know, toilet paper rolls. We all have those around the house. If you don't have a toilet paper roll available, and you happen to have even a wrapping paper roll will work or a paper towel roll but i think that's a good cute little way to recycle as well and like i said you don't need a sharpie you can use a black magic marker whatever you might have around the house even a pen if that's all you have but i think he's pretty cute i want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch and hopefully you enjoyed this cute little craft and make sure you keep watching because I have more ideas coming soon. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. And we'll see you for another craft here on A Jolly Good Life. Bye.